Hello, I am Mary Beth Gattens with Gattens Law. Recently, on the Gattens blog, we posted an infographic entitled Franchise Disclosure Document Update Timeline. A link to the timeline is provided in the video description. Today, I want to discuss identifying and articulating New Year System initiatives. In this slide, I have identified four categories of possible initiatives. Let's look at each one in turn. The first category, outdated disclosures. The item numbers within the disclosure document are designed to disclose what is occurring now. As the industry changes, as new technologies are introduced, how we do business also changes. These changes need to be embodied in the item number disclosures. For example, historically businesses were listed in the yellow page directories. Today, the cost of yellow page listing and ads may not make sense. Another example is office location. In today's market, many franchises have done away with the mandate for a physical office location. Another big change may be technology and computer requirements. If your system has moved to tablets or handheld devices, these changes all need to be reflected in the item number disclosures. The next area to identify is inconsistencies. Information that is contained in the franchise agreement or other agreements may be called out in the item numbers. You want to make sure there is consistency between the agreements and the item numbers. Further, the same information or disclosures may appear in multiple locations throughout the item numbers. You want to make sure all disclosures and information is congruent to eliminate confusion or arguments later. Third, you want to identify problematic disclosures. What do I mean by this? If you have disclosures that prospective franchisees or renewing franchises are continually raising as a problem, this may be a problematic disclosure that you want to visit. Ask, is the disclosure mandate really required? Can the mandate be reworded or lessened? And inversely, is there a problem area within the system policies or practices that needs to be adjusted to prevent conflict or non-compliance. Now is the time to complete a system disclosure analysis. The last point is material disclosures. Are you considering increasing fees, adding a new software mandate, or new reporting requirements? Now is the time to add these initiatives to the disclosure document. Any changes post the updating of the disclosure document may de be deemed material. If the changes are material, under disclosure laws, the franchise disclosure document must be amended, which can be costly and delay the selling or renewing of franchises. Next week on our Gens blog, look for more information about what changes are considered material. Well, that concludes our video for today. Thank you for listening. This has been Mary Beth Gettens with Gettens Law.